That free Wi-Fi hotspot, so many people use the coffee shop, restaurant, or any public place, may get you in big trouble. With so many of them available, hackers have been using Wi-Fi to access your private data. Here's 9 Wants to Know investigator Jeremy Hohola with how easily it's done and what you can do to prevent it. Where would we be without Wi-Fi? I think most alarming is our dependence. But the next time you connect to that coffee shop or airport Wi-Fi you think is safe. It's not the hotspot that's free, it's your data that's free. It could be a hacker's bogus network. We generally want financial information. A Wi-Fi lie. Like an evil twin, hackers make their networks look like the ones you trust. And once you connect, easy access to your hard drive and private info you're sending out over your phone and tablet. Very, very easy. It's point and click. Professional hacker Tyler Tobin gets paid to infiltrate banking computer networks. We're in. At 9 News, he showed us what hackers do. It's prolific. It's a plague. We no. created our own free public Wi-Fi with a hotspot device. At this point, we basically own Jeremy's computer. We can look in here, take a look at, oh, Jeremy's W-2. That's helpful. Yeah, I know what your tax returns look like, your social security numbers look like. And that's not the only risk. We want to also install something on your computer so we can watch you log into your online banking accounts. And these hacking tools can be easy to use, easy to find. And it's free software. Anybody can download this software. Folks move very quickly. The Colorado Attorney General's office says culprits never get caught. They may only have their site open for 20 or 30 minutes, say in an airport, and then they disconnect and they're gone. And you won't even realize you're a victim until your bank account is cleaned out. We wanted to see and show you how trusting some people can be of any free network, so we made our own and named it Free Wi-Fi. From downtown to the Auraria campus, our hotspot was hot, especially at Denver's airport. We have some other device. We have an iPad and then we have a guy named Michael connected to our network. Within one minute of turning our free public Wi-Fi on, plenty of would-be victims. What would you say if I was a hacker? I, with the right, right software, I could pull everything off that you were... Uh, that would be a concern. <laughs> yeah. Because I've got a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it just said Wi-Fi. Did you second guess the security on that free Wi-Fi at all or anything like that? No. We didn't steal their information, of course, because we're the good guys. But the bad guys could. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. DIA says it's never found a fake Wi-Fi network here. But according to the Better Business Bureau, a sweep at Chicago's O'Hare found 20 suspicious networks. So how do you protect yourself? One big security hole you can close right now, sharing. You may have it enabled so you could share photos and music among your devices on your personal Wi-Fi. It's like leaving a digital doorway wide open. When you then take that into another environment, that lets the bad guys in the back door. And that was identity theft expert John Cilio, who did a lot of work on this story for us. One of our viewers asked a great question on our Facebook page today. She wanted to know which Wi-Fi spots you can trust. Well, to be honest, there's really no good answer to that question. When it comes to banking or shopping online, just don't trust any of them. We have nine tips we wrote up for you on 9news.com that you can follow when you're out in the Wi-Fi world, including how to turn off sharing on your laptop. And right now, Adele, on 9news.com, we have a professional hacker joining <laughs> us right now on 9news.com. That's giving a lot of great answers for oh, us. Oh, I bet. And you, never I, you know, I do think about that. And I have one of those little Wi-Fi units, the personal Wi-Fi units. And you say your phone is good as a Wi-Fi unit, too, as yeah. far as just... As long as you have your that password and you mm -hmm. haven't shared that password with anywhere, right. anybody else, if you have your own personal Wi-Fi hotspot and it's uh, it's encrypted and you do encrypted browsing, those are part of the answers we're giving on 9news.com. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks, yeah. Jeremy. Be safe out there. All right.